over a decade now, they have been called the voice of Britain with their new album, UK Green. They keep the bar high with their commentary on contemporary life. Two guys from Nottingham and a computer. Please welcome Sleep and Mods! <laughs> Now, and you can't lie. 
in a computer it reminds me of a hip-hop setup like dj mc was yeah. that what you had in mind it wasn't intentional at no all, was i mean initially it was like andrew was into just recording he wasn't too sure about joining me on stage for a while i used to you have backing tracks of the stuff we'd done you just used to have a cd player and yeah. tell the guy to so you'd be on your own yeah yeah when did that change then when did you decide to have andrew well it was like we had this gig at uh, a noise festival in Nottingham, and um, we thought it would be better if Andrew was on stage as well. And he said, "Yes, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it because it's his noise festival." Yeah. Andrew was a part of that crowd, sort of. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, like a, it was like a little scene of people. Do you know what I mean? How do you feel to be on stage for the first time with this project? You know, I've been making music since I was 16. You know what I mean? I'm so... You were on stage before. Yeah. Oh yeah, doing electronic music. Yeah. And stuff, but the noughts was kind of like a bit of a I don't know for a lot of producers, you know, trip hop and stuff like that. Mm. It's, it's, you know, that's why you've got stuff like Bandcamp and SoundCloud because it's just too many creatives, isn't there? Not enough. Mm. So I, I guess I was kind of quite depressed by 2009. I was just making mu music and sticking it on Bandcamp, and then I met Jason, and you know, it was sort of a it, was, it just sort of came together. And I yeah. don't know. We were both similar people at the end of a tether. And, In need uh, of a change? Yeah. Just sort of just stuck, looking for stuck, stuck, you know. Would you say you're having fun? Yeah, it's a laugh. Yeah. I mean, we, are, we just have a, we're very similar in sense of humor. 
Yeah, know, it's definitely a massive overlap. I've noticed that, like, he, uh, Jason's humour in his lyrics cracks you up. Yeah, like, yeah. It does. We need our high angle to fucking say to this stuff. Pentangle, Arthur, no fluidity. Add that bubble fluid. I'll go large for a panda regretty. Reset, a sharp contrast to my newly updated organic nice man. Easy, variety, a lion life. No lonely arts club, just a lonely collection of loose faced bastards. Well, Miller got it with the ugly stick. Not being mad, the chirping cunt obviously wants the country in ties. Uh, they all do two arms, two legs, fuck you, fuck you all. We don't want radio play, we're not fucking cannon and ball. Smashed asses, super farts, tara, tara, la 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 la. Shit trousers, that's the angle. talk about the story pretty much every year, don't we? Seagulls nicking chips. Yes, lads. Literally ripping fruit wankers. My hardness, you shit yourself, anti-vaxxers. So potent, so fucking midlife rabbit chatter. All your non-mates chatter after you. Bleep, you got a face like you ain't seen any rain for ages. Creep. From the waist to space up, chili chicken ramen, I pay all dead deer on the road floor. I tip talk, that's how it is in it on the ice street. 
when you're eating your eye. You want to pull this open, you jealous twat. No drama till he poked up big pharma. No drama till he poked up big pharma. No drama. No drama till he poked up big pharma. Sway split, wood ties, go, rub around the rug, boom. Get them, make them chew. Dying for the right course is the most human thing we can do. But I'd rather stay alive than fuck you. I got a coffee eye, in my devices and maybe twice as I. Everybody stood near the counter. I take my chins down and peer over here. Single gangsters, everyone on the counter's laughing like fuck. Singles trying my chins to set a cons. DJ Joe kicks later. Put a brim on the road for six hours. Yeah, fuck up. Uh, it's like a blocked artery. A white body tapestry. Eh? Raw milk is wrapped in rags. No bread of water. Or a ties. Even my dog disregard for anything is now monetized. No drama, till he poked up big pharma. No drama, till he poked up big pharma. No drama. No drama, till he poked up big pharma. Take your fucking skin and fall. Slick suit, street wet fall. Your trump is got point now, ain't it? Now, has got point, tell me, tell me now. Don't bring it to you, watch the drink more pump room. What's the deal with all you tosses, fruity dogs, you lot? Freedom for people. Yes, lads, click to ship to new advertising boards. You want to go, man? I don't want to go anywhere with you. You just end up feeling so bad. Fighting with the remaining members of fucking Black Flag. Yeah, fight down the curtain like Vladimir Putin. With an own visit from Gucci trying to put fit shirt on. Yes, lads, anti-vaxxers, punk IPA and turfy cons in wide leg trousers. No drama till he poked out Big Pharma. No drama till he poked out Big Pharma. No drama. Ow! Oh, cool. No drama till he poked out Big Pharma. Use 
Lauren Shaw on guest vocals there from a band dry cleaning. Give her a big round of applause. I got more interested in the sounds of Last Orders in the pub. Yeah. Of people that run out of cocaine and were <laughs> talking when it was that crossover from coming down from a drug and then going back into sobriety. Yeah. Yeah. Just that line is really interesting where people are not of the system but still connected to it, you know. I read somewhere that you worked in the chicken factory as well. Yeah, loads. And, uh, and you were writing at night. Yeah. That really reminds me of the Bukowski, you know, oh, yeah. method. Yeah. Like, totally. yeah. Yeah, like I wrote Job Secret Work in, on the lunch break. Oh, yeah. Because when I got the kind of formula for Sleaford before I met Andrew, the spoken word thing was like, this is brilliant. I can now get out what I want to say completely because the verse and chorus method of traditional songwriting is quite limited. Yeah. You have to really think about it. I think that's why there's such a lot of subtlety in pop songs because you can't get everything out. So you have to round it off. But with spoken word, it was like, well, yeah. And it was like, I can do what the fuck I like. And then I started, you know, doing, you know, sort of call answer question yeah. as if it was Dialogues. like a play, you know what yeah. I mean? monologues, you know. Yeah. Uh, if it's something that's coming from wherever, then it's yeah. going to be all right. It's going to be good, no matter what you're singing about. And so when I discovered writing spoken word stuff, then I could just be myself and talk about going to the shop, trying to buy cans of lager, you know, whatever. You know, all the dark shit that was really plaguing me, yeah. I, I found I could do in a humorous way and not in a sort of self-pitying way. I left a tan in on wash jeans Chewing off his ear with the plastic screen We raced by May, I got notes I got a high-pitched chirping from Five pound six, then get me by Five pound six, then don't know why Five pound six, then past midnight He could have charged me twice the price Twice the pro 
Sign on Rough Trade for like four records. Uh -huh. I wonder if you had um, something to say about how to navigate the music industry. I don't know. I don't know if this will help. But it's just persistence, isn't it? Just, mm. just persistence in your own need to write something good. I think the reason that, well, personally, the reason that I did, you know, it took me this long to get anywhere, yeah. is because I wasn't willing to give anything up. Yeah, that's it. You know, it's always on my own terms, which means that you're just a penniless dolly for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I think there's something to be said for consciousness of the presentation as well. And try not to get sucked in by myths or cliches. And if you yeah. really like something, um, try to remain faithful to that emotion as opposed to trying to skirt around it to achieve something vaguely similar to what you were initially inspired by, you know. Mm. Um, to try and progress or to be a, to be the, a link in that chain, you know. Mm. That for me was, it helped me curtail uh, uh, just not being a wanker, you know, not, mm. not falling into just crap projections of, of, yeah. of things that, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That comes with maturity as well. I yeah. think so, it comes. Experience. I think I started to love music yeah. from early 30s. Before then, I was just record deal, drugs, yeah. <laughs> bit of this, you know what I mean? Press hard because you want to be in. You want to press hard to be better than me. No change, no level is flat. Leveling up like a Tory twat. No streets, no line of thought. No concrete, now we're distraught. No warmth like a paper hat. It falls right in when the clouds splat. Everybody's getting well marked. Fist fights. Near Sainsbury's car park, everybody's getting well marked. Cars cut off, then smash each other up. Press hard when the taste ain't in. Ignore them bands that belong in the bin. No time to relieve the call. The air smells when the sun burns it all. No streets, no line of thought. No concrete, now we're distraught. No warmth like a paper hat. It falls right in when the clouds flat. Everybody's getting well marked. Fist fights near Sainsbury's car park. Everybody's getting well marked. Cars cut off, then smash each other up. 
I wax from one to gym. He said, Go on, then get what you need. So I just lost it. Let it bleed. Flags fly. Union Jack and blue and yellow. Our force fly by. And what else? We want grain or else. When the lights flash past and miss. Bus in the case, speed around it anyway. Lice living here, so I done dear bites. Me connecting spicy nights. Bab the dress as the light shines different on this patch. Yeah. Everybody's skin well knock air piss fights near Sainsbury's car park Everybody's get well knock air cars caught up then smash each other up described the band as being angry, you know, or having, you know, this sort of output of anger. I don't see it as anger, personally. I see it as um, freedom to express what you feel. Um, also release and happiness, you know, Absolutely. in that. Absolutely, yeah. There's a lot of, uh, you know, opinions we've had to sort of bat away, you know, the voice of the working classes to... Angriest band in Britain. You know, all this sort was of title, stuff. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, he nailed it early on, you know, just, it's Jason. Is he like this all the time? And 
he was like, yeah. well, that if he was like that on the street, that would be insane. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if you have early memories of important messages or words that you heard, either in music or somewhere else, that, that really stuck with you, you know? Just, I mean, just some people, people around us. Yeah. Just the power of normality, how people are and how people mm. cope under these extreme measures of existence, because it's, life's hard, you know? Yeah. So that, that kind of describes what Sleep of Mods is. Yeah. You know, what the political shtick is more than, I don't know, it'd be, I mean, there is certain direct digs yeah. at Boris and whatever, yeah. but, but generally it is about the human experience rather than... Totally. Yeah. It's magic. Yeah. Did I ever get the bike stuck there? Under the swivel sticks and stone pit Farrell on guest vocals there. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> She's never worked though, has she? She never fucking need to. And she knows it. Oh, really? Yeah, he does it all. Really? Yeah, he does it all. I 
Dragon, mythical beast, fleshy monster.
I'd done a bit with Sleaford on my own. Yeah. Some CDRs, and I'd taken that to its furthest extent. Yeah. And uh, I started to think that, because I used to use samples, it was just no good. I needed something original. I love Andrew's music so much that, and the thing is with what he does with his music, it's never the same. It's always, it's, there's always something else, and he's just totally cosmic. After years, 20 plus years of going through projects, bands. I arrived at meeting Andrew one night in Nottingham, and it took a good six months. We did a tune, and I did, we didn't bother getting in contact after that for a while, and then I was having some ideas about some other demos I needed to do, and I thought, oh, I'll ask Andrew again. So and that's, that's how we got together, you know. I think it's like it was who I was supposed to meet, you know. Yeah. We've had to work for it, you know, it's yeah. been We've yeah. had to slowly chip away at it. We've not been handed a, you know, a big no. uh, universal no. deal or something in yeah. the first year. You know, it's taken a long time. So, which is how it should be, I think. I, I think, think so. You know. Yeah, why you start? Because you build the product, don't you? You build your own sound. And... Yeah. Some bands take off and get big straight away. It's taken us like ten years to go from. Yeah. yeah mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but we're just no. not we're just not those people. No. Yeah. I mean, I've seen footage of you starting with two people in the room in a pub, and yeah. last night you played a sold out battle. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. Wicked. Wicked. Yeah, brilliant. So it's the recipe's proven. Yeah, and it working. keeps. Yeah, it's still. I mean, even the word "still," I think, is a bit inappropriate. It's it's interesting. It continues to be interesting. The smell of piss is so strong. It smells like decent bacon. Kevin's gear foot loose on the over spill underneath the piss station. Two pints destroyer on the cobble floors. No amount whatever is gonna chip the chip off. It's the final countdown by fucking journey. I won't put my shit my sock outside the Polish off license. Well, they don't mind. Set the arsehole to the legs. You got to be cool to be kind. Shit, mate. I'll save it up like Norfolk Colon. Release the stench of shit grub like a giant toilet kraken. The lonely life is touring. I got an awful of decent tunes, mate, mate. But it's all so fucking boring.
performance at your last signing on day. Fuck all, I just sat around the ass wanking. And I wanted to buy you those uh, copy. My signing on time was supposed to be 10 past 11. It's now 12 o'clock, and some of these smelly bastards need exterminating. Mr. Williamson, your employment history looks quite impressive. I'm looking at three managerial positions you've previously held with quite reputable companies. Isn't this something you'd like to go back to? No, I just end up fucking robbing the place. You got a till full of twenties looking at your day. Well, I'm hardly gonna fucking bank here. I've got drugs to take. And I'm mine to break. 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 Jenny Beth and Johnny for inviting us on to their program and giving us the opportunity to stay in your beautiful city one more night. We are the Sleaford Mods! Fucking f- 